PC Crash 10 lets you load in 3D point clouds taken from 3D scanners or generated otherwise to use as scenes and vehicles. I want to show you this uh, scene here. So this is a curved road uh, with the elevation changes and there's uh, you can see there's some points from trees and buildings and whatnot and I've just got an animation looping here. So let's see how this was done. Do a new project. Now, point clouds are treated just the same as any kind of uh, drawing. So, if I bring up my point clouds, I'm going to bring in my full resolution point cloud here. Just drag it in. Now, you see that's a 100 megabyte file. So, there, there's my point cloud brought in just as any other kind of drawing. If I open the 3D window, take a look at that camera here. It's actually up in the air. So there's that point cloud. And now it's available to see and manipulate just like any other drawing object, including triangulation. pick the object, and then I right click and I can say select. I can drag some boxes around here to select points that I want to consider for the triangulation. So I won't be too careful here. So here are some points on the road surface that I want to use to triangulate. And there's another feature in 10.0 where you can specify the minimum triangulation distance. It won't try to triangulate between every point, just the ones that are uh, within that distance. So I'll leave it at the default there at one meter. And right click, triangulate. And so you can see here, it's now created a mesh of points from a 3D mesh that can, uh, you can interact with uh, just the same way that uh, you would from survey data. So that's quick and easy bringing in a 3D point cloud and uh, using it to generate a mesh.